We're walking into the Burbank Card Show on day two. We're excited to see what we're gonna be able to pick up today. Hopefully there's gonna be more deals than yesterday. It was jam packed yesterday. We can't wait to see what today has in store. Julius Randall. You get in for the pop this evening? <laughs> the script's got a wedding. If there's like a number at the end, if it's a one or a two, that's just the pop on it. So what's your favorite card in the show box? Mine? Yeah. Um, or the trio uh, maybe? Oh, uh, the baseball? Or uh, in any showcase. Oh, that's hard. Uh, that's cool. I like, I don't she, think. She always comes back to that one. Yeah, yeah this, is like, this is my favorite PC card. Actually, where's the bird? I have a bird, Timeless, I really like as well. It's not based on value. I love this card. No, it doesn't have to be based on value. I was just curious. Yeah, no, definitely. Really nice card to have. The Ron LA patch is, is tough to say maybe too. Oh, What's your bird. favorite? That's that's the only cat's favorite. Okay. The timeless moment. My my brother played Larry Bird in Winning Time. Um, that's so, pretty sick. Yeah, so it's fun to get bird cards. Okay. Yeah. We got the pop one. The pop one Devo gold. It's probably nice. The pop one Devo. Yeah. We actually do this so that I can get better cards. <laughs> yeah, and the PC stuff doesn't typically come out. There's a handful that are kind of fringe cards, like I'd say the bird. Right. It's kind of in that same bucket where, like, if we got the right offer, we'd probably move it, and I'd probably want to go get a different you know, bird to different immediately different. replace it. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe we just put on like what it is going to be to make it easier. So where would you want me to be on for this? And it's gonna fit. Yeah, to be both pick up phones. <laughs> Phone time. One seventy five. Okay. One sixty five. Uh, this is never sold. I'm pretty sure it's called. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's the length of the entire building down and back around. Okay. That's fine. This one, here's that 950. Okay. Can we do stickers? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is more than awesome. fun. Yeah, we're. Awesome. He's good. Yeah, and we, he's finally getting a yeah, shot. I know, like, we've had this for a little while, so, like, we were like, let's put it to sell. Yeah. yeah. I bought his true NT. Oh, actually, in Burma, oh, yes. oh, This is pop one. It's probably going to be hard. I'll see if there's any flawless sells. How's he been doing? I, I know um, Gafford's been doing really well. He's doing pretty good, too. They were good additions. Last nine auto did 445. I'll be at 380. Okay. Um, that might be that card. Um, it's one of the Randall. You would do 380 on that. Do you want to? Uh, I think I'm pretty sure that's what I want to put. It's fine, yeah. So, this is where I got the price. Can you tell me where you want to be? <laughs> It definitely pumped up. Five? Yeah. How much do you grade, Lane? What? How yeah. much do you grade? Me personally, like, probably around 100 cards a month. No. Um, it just depends on how much I'm ripping. Yeah. I, do, I typically we just buy raw. It's all, like, whatever I rip is what yeah. I grade. We rip a lot too, as you know, but, like, our we started to grade again, and it's been great for us. It's so much easier because even if it gets a nine or whatever, people know the condition. Yeah, because I, I can't describe a condition over Instagram. Yeah, not just that, but also like, let's say that Halliburton, yeah. for example. I mean, that's a bad example, but let's say you had like the Lamello yeah. pink camo. It's a $4 card raw. It's a $45 card as a 10. It's probably a $20 card as a 9. So you don't lose any money. No. Yeah. You just don't gain any money if you get a 9. Yeah, that would just fine for me. It, it's that's, totally that's easy to That's my like, defining factor when I pick for grading like lower end cards. Is, what does it sell I, for as a 9? Can I get $20 as a 9? Yeah. Great. Exactly. If it 8s, that's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take it on the chin. I like how you guys are like, 
Oh, your calculator does that. Android for the win. Giovanni. That's like oh, the one. Can you say good that a thing. little louder, please? That's like the one good thing about Android. He has a oh, green bubble. <laughs> One good thing about Android is that I charge my phone like once a week. Uh, we just finished up this really big deal with Bayview Sports Cards. They're great people. Cat and Tim would not recommend anyone else. If you're looking for cards at the Burbank Card Show, find their booth. Really easy to work with. Go find our card cards at Almanac, guys. It's gonna be sick. Let's look at our card review again. Oh, and then Carl. Moving to the locker, so, I'm, I'm setting up right now to look at all my stuff. Right now. Appreciate you. It's always like, appreciate you. Uh, What's up, bro? Yeah. Um, let's talk to you. Little Tony? Yeah, you're taking a door. In California. Uh, Shout out, Layton. About to pay for my new you know window. Your boy Bob oh, at his own house. <laughs> That's my new laptop. That's my mistake. Lane, thank you. Appreciate you. My mistake. No, if you're in Sacramento, make sure you check out DMP Sports Cards. They've got deal on slabs and raw cards. Appreciate you. Thank you. The list for 20. So we just pulled out a couple basketball cards and a Neymar auto. Let's see what we can come up with. See if we can cl close out this deal. The best I could probably do on those six probably be like 800. 800? Yeah. Okay. I appreciate it, but I'm going to hold off. Sounds good, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, guys. So, unfortunately, not every table we go up to, we're going to be able to close the deal on the cards that we pick out. The main thing is that you stay respectful, you leave the table, you say thank you for your time, and you move on and find the next deal. Let's go find it. <laughs> Again, if you want anything, just reach in and grab it. Yeah. You won't see a patch on it. Actually, I just sold the former. Oh, really? Zach's in one. <coughs> Zach's in one. Uh, yeah, it was going to take the product to look. Yeah, I, I'd be like, two something. Yeah. Yeah. Can't go wrong with the Jackie Robinson Day one of one patch of, in my opinion, a future Hall of Famer. 2750, or how close to that as you can get. 29? I'm interested in that one, and I'm interested in the heart. Okay. All right, so you got 15 stickered. You think you could do a thousand flat on it? About 12. You want to meet right in the middle, 1100? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, cool. Sweet. All right. Y'all, if you're looking for anyone in the Cali area, hit up Jared Rad Ripper. He's got great deals, really easy to work with. And if the deal makes sense, he's not going to say no. How's it going, guys? Not number, but I got like big, big, big Yeah. Thanks, Lane, for stopping by. Pick these two up. Yeah, I just love that card. Instagram's at Prevail Cards and Go City Sports. That's right. Thank you, guys.
2750. I'm gonna do some quick math, that should work. 2750? Yeah. Uh, we're fair enough. I try to make it where you can make some money, man. Yeah, no problem. What's up, guys? Uh, Nate with Grand Slam Collectibles from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, man, doing another deal with Layton Sports Cards. We appreciate Nate. He always hooks us up. If you're in the area, make sure you check out his shop. He's always doing amazing things for the community. Take it easy. Day two at Burbank, we were able to find some amazing cards. We're excited to get to hang out with some friends tomorrow and see what day three has in store.